So I'm wondering if you guys want to walk through some of this with me and just, uh, you know, bear with my meanderings. I'm looking at this from the perspective of the access player. And we're looking at the northern section of the Gadarian's Blitzkrieg. Now I'm trying to assess uh, what to do with the 9th Army and where to focus the 3rd Panzer Group Army. And the, the uh, commentary on CSW and other sites is that uh, this is the, all the way down here, is the northernmost extender that they um, recommend you put in. And it gives you some range heading, you know, 10 hexes. This one, if it's a truck, actually, I'll give you further range. But um, you, get, you get some push probably up to here or thereabouts. But probably not as far as I was hoping. Uh, one, two, three, actually, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it'll actually take you all the way to Kalinin. So, um, so that's interesting. Okay. And then, uh, but my idea here was I really want to try and capture and envelop these sections here. So uh, not sure how that will play out when we all get down to doing this together. We'll see what happens. We may end up being boxed in by, uh, <coughs> if this is indeed the optimal location, uh, boxed in by this limitation unless we were able to uh, put a wagon extender in here and then push a, a truck extender further up. So that's a, that's one thought. So we move down the map just a little bit further. I'm sorry about the glare. You can see there's another extender here in the middle. I am probably not going to deploy uh, that extender, uh, and if I do, I may do it with wagons versus trucks, primarily because I'm not sure that I'm going to be efficient enough with three supply lines to make sure that everyone gets what they need when they need it. You know, this is the Western Front area. Um, it's fairly sparse at the moment, but we expect that to thicken up fairly quickly. And this would be the purview of the 4th Panzer Group to come, kind of, kind of come in from this direction. Uh, the detailed, so there's that, and then we'll come back to the combat in a second. And then, uh, you know, this is the, everyone knows that you put this guy here, or actually, I usually put him in a town. I'm sure there's a very good reason to put him one off. Uh, it probably gets a further, further carry on his uh, throw, but anyway. So, um, <clears throat> and that would be for uh, Second Panzer Group's efforts to capture Orel, which is right here, and push through to Kursk. All right, now, combat. I still don't know what to do in this area. I haven't really put a lot of thought into it. I do know that down here, uh, we're going to focus on this. Let me see if I can shorten up the legs on the video. Camera stand. Pop this guy down here. And get you out of the glare. That's possible. Where are we? So here is going to be one of the areas that I'm going to target with uh, perhaps both seventh and sixth Panzer, and the backup thirty-sixth motorized is right here as well. Uh, that's one location, and the second location that we'll be putting some effort into is right here. This little location here. Um, you know, we're not supposed to look what's underneath, but since we're doing the video for you, I'll show you. I think this, maybe this is not, this may not be a good location. Look at that. That's four steps there. So they can choose not to retreat there. Extremely slippery plastic there. Okay, so um, get over there, buddy. All right, so that may not be a breakthrough point. <laughs> oh, here it is. Here's the light. Here's the light tank unit. Right here. This guy right here. This is the one we want to bang on uh, in turn one. If we pick this guy up. You'll see there's a two stepper there. Maybe some fairly fierce combat to get started with, but. I'm um, hoping we can DG him and uh, 
potentially uh, get them out of the way. And the third combat would be this location right here. This guy. And it looks like that was historically perhaps what happened given the fact that uh, 40 Panzer Corps with uh, 2nd and 10th Panzer is all lined up. Uh, and the Reich is in the background here, I don't know if you can see that there. I've got the camera facing away from me. And this is 4th Panzer Group's headquarters. So these guys' job is to get to Shida, Shazida, Shazida here and block supply to Bryansk, which is right here. And the overall move, I think most of us uh, who've watched any of my videos have seen I played that once and, and redid that and learned how to do that. And that's what would happen in the northern maps. In the southern maps, I'm a little uh, betwixt and between here. I think that there's certainly value in moving these units as they did historically uh, northwards to assist in the capture of Kursk or reinforcement uh, this way. But there is a temptation to uh, focus on Kharkov. You, know, you can take Kharkov in a grind out encirclement uh, attack using 99% infantry, which is all here. This is a dozen divisions probably here. And we can, you know, move quickly and encircle uh, or, or, or grind our way through this little exercise and then free up our, and that would be a location for an extender, wagon based extender. And then right here, you've got another one that could potentially go in. And that would allow 13th Panzer and some of the other forces down here to uh, the Viking uh, group to uh, you know, press on to Rostov slash uh, points in between Stalino, etc. So that's the plan at the moment. Some games I've seen, there have been little breakthroughs and they kind of encircle this little pocket here. I'm wondering why, if you could, why you wouldn't try uh, cut supply off at these these junctions where where they're attempting to tr uh, conduct trace and uh, but have a, a broader net and, and release forces and move forward. So it's uh, six of one, half a dozen the other, perhaps. But um, maybe it's the surety of uh, of having that tight pocket that that everyone gets excited about. I don't know. Anyway, now I'm rambling. So we're going to let that go. Oh, last thing. And then I have not looked at Sebastopol yet, but uh, it will require a little bit of uh, thinking and work. Uh, what can we do with 3SP down there? All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. And Sebastopol's down there, but this is, we've got to get through here first. All right, ciao.